is an all good YouTube, it is Mint! And welcome to Grey Wolf Fitness. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Who are you, imposter? You're not Craig. Yeah, I'm Craig from Grey Wolf Fitness. Get out, get off my channel, go on, go on. All right, all right. Hello, Adam Arif here, the real Adam Arif from Beyond Educated, and welcome to my channel. If you're interested in a healthy lifestyle, well-being, and fitness, give that subscribe button a click. Today, we're going to be talking about a very brief topic. I'm just doing it off the cuff because this week, I've been really struggling with my training program. For those of you that have been following me, um, and um, watching my program and trying to build strength and conditioning. I've been finding it really hard. I'll put a clip up from yesterday. So a very quick little note just to say that uh, I'm doing this Vendler program, this strength and conditioning training program. But I'm just not feeling it. Like strength's always something that I wanted to progress with. For those of you that have wanted to develop strength, you know it's a slow process. Um, and you know, something that I've always particularly wanted to work on. But I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not really, you know, like enjoying the workouts, struggling to motivate myself. And so, I'm really struggling as to whether I should go back to my old style of training, whether I should, you know, introduce a new or part, just do it like a, in part or a variation of it because I love my old style of training, you know, like the usual splits, chest, pull, push days, legs. I like that. That's what makes me go to the gym because it's enjoyable. And so, you're wondering what I'm doing, by the way. I'm on the, I'm on the bike. I'll show you this just to warm up the, uh, just to warm up the legs before doing uh, the Vendler program. So, uh, so yeah, you know, I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Do you think I should stick with the program that's supposed to deliver results and strength? even though I'm finding it difficult to enjoy. I'm not finding the program necessarily difficult, but quite difficult to enjoy. Or do I move back to what I know? And is that quitting and going back because I'm going back to a comfort zone and doing what I enjoy? I guess it comes down to what I'm trying to achieve. So, yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts. Post down below when I actually did it. But what I found was after I did the clip, um, after I finished my workout and everything, I really got a buzz and I was like, do you know what, it wasn't as bad. The point of the message that I'm trying to get to is, a lot of times when you're trying to do things that you don't necessarily want to do, but you know you need to do them to get the gains that you want, not necessarily gym, whatever that might be, doing business plans, work, whatever it is, you have to just do it. And actually, once you just get on with it, it's not as bad, it's the concept and thought of doing it. So that's my message that I want to share with you today. For those of you that are liking the um, Beyond Athletics, unfortunately it's not available in grey, but if you are interested in the black version of this one, grey one might be available at a later date, click down in the link below and you can go straight to my website and you can buy the t-shirts. All goes back into the channel to help support me. So uh, yeah, have, have a look at that if you're interested. No kind of pressure to buy it. Uh, watch me doing Craig's um, grey... Craig from Grey Wolf's uh, Fitness, if you've not gone to his channel, go there, go subscribe. And if you've not um, if you've not seen, Craig puts like challenges up from time to time. And so I put off doing his challenges for a long time. I always say I'll do them and I've not. So he's, do, he's done the uh, seated front press for 500 reps. So I'm going to do that after my deadlift session, which I'm not really looking forward to, but I'll speed it up for you because um, it'll probably take me forever. It's 20 kilos, 500 reps, and then I'm going to show you the Grey Wolf Challenge uh, Fitness, uh, and I guess maybe uh, it would probably make sense for me to challenge uh, Miles from Fat Over 40. I don't know. If, if you're listening to this, Miles, I'm challenging you to do it, um, and um, anyone else that wants to give it a go. So uh, remember, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like the channel, and as ever, remember, stay educated. I genuinely have no idea how long this is going to take me. However, this weighs, I hope it's worth it, this. This weighs seven with the bar end weights, so I need to put 13 on it ultimately, which is, you can do the math, six and a half either side. So, it'll have to be six and a quarter. And that'll make up 20.
Looks pitiful. Looks pitiful. Right then, let's do it. 500. <laughs> 500 reps. Isn't that right? Let's go. Bad start. Hat's the wrong way around. Go have the hat the right way around, you know what I'm saying? Forgot to add my counting measure. Hold on one second, that was 15. There we go. So I'm on 15. This is gonna take me forever. This is gonna take me forever. I'm on 70. My Shoulders are killing. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, let's get to uh see if we can get to hundred. Hundred. quite know when this happened uh, but at 380 reps the camera's like cut out uh, but I think it was well before that I just didn't notice so god knows how much it's got but basically that's the time nine minutes 19 minutes so got another 120 reps to go I don't know how much it missed god knows that's annoying annoying Right guys, here we have it. We're on 475, if you can see that. It's taken me 24 minutes. Get a good pump from it, but 24 minutes. Crazy. Oh, I'll be stiff tomorrow. Credit where credit's due there, Craig. That's harder than I thought it would be. And, uh, and it took a lot longer. Uh, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, remember, leave a like. Leave a dislike and then leave a like to count with a like. 
Speak to you soon, guys. Take it easy. Take it.